Hello friends and welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, my name is Chris aka okay, the IT guy. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to install Ruby on Rails on uh, Windows 11. I'm going to go through step by step. Uh, I will start by installing all the dependencies so as to have the installation run smoothly. So to continue with that, I'm going to go on my Google Chrome as my browser. You can use any browser of your favorite and browse for Node.js as it will be the first dependency we need to install and on the Node.js website we have to go ahead and acquire the Node.js setup and you have to install it and we'll continue with other steps but the Node.js will be the first one that we uh, will install so as it's loading you can see that I am on the official website I can uh, go ahead and choose from this for example there is this version and this so I'm going to to click this as the new version and I'm going to press on start download and download speed will depend upon your network and your computer speed so let's give it a go all right cool and once the download is complete you can go ahead and press on open to open the setup and to perform the installation i'm going to close or to minimize this window because we don't need it at the moment i'm going to go ahead and press next i'm going to accept the license agreement of course and i'm going to press on next and this will be the default uh, installation folder uh, if you will need to change it you can change it but i like to leave the default and go ahead and press next and next again and also press the next and install and the installation will start okay and once this is complete you can go ahead and click on finish and open the cmd to check if the node was successful i'm going to type node hyphen hyphen version to check if there is the present node version and you can see that the version that is present is now 18.6.0 i'm going to cross this command prompt and try to install the dependency number two which is now the uh, git bash i'm going to type git bash like this and press enter and you have to go to this uh, first link and i'm going to acquire the setup from there and i will choose the the windows host and i will choose for example this 64-bit standard installer i'm going to download this again and start a download and wait all right and once this this is complete so i'm going to go ahead and open and after opening i will perform the installation like i did on the area uh, dependency so i'm going to accept this and we have to press on install it will try to 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 check if there's no previous version of git in my computer let's wait for a bit okay and once this now is complete i can go ahead and test it i'm going to make a new folder here and put it uh, projects for example and call these projects and i'm going to open with a vs code and here i have it so let me try to open my text editor here i'm going to show you how now the git works as a version control and it's needed in our everyday project i'm going to try to drag this project further into this and once i am in here i'm going to trust the authors i can press this to to bring the terminal and once the terminal is ready so let's wait for a bit can go ahead and uh, type git in it to initialize this folder and you can also uh, try to to use some of the git commands to see if there, there is now um, a successful installation okay that was it for git so i'm going to cross this and i'm going to install the sql right so i'm going to go in the browser and type sql right like this one i forgot the error like this and there will be a lot of uh, options in here i'm going to choose this first link and i will go on what's written download and there will be a lot of uh, options but I, i'm going to choose uh, the, the pre-compared pre binaries i'm going to choose now the drl for 64 bits and i'm going to click on here and I'm going to start download and once complete I'm going to open this zipped folder and I will open my local disk C 
and I will go on Windows System 32. Right, the system 32 here. I'm going to drag all these two and drop inside this. Let me do it again. Let me try to drag all this. I don't want to put it into any folder, so I'm going to accept this. And you can see that they were copied in system 32. I'm going to close this uh, WinLR and I'm going to um, download also the uh, Ruby installer. I'm going to type Ruby installer, for example, like this, and press enter. There will be the first link that will be from rubyinstaller.org. That's the one we are going to give it a go. So I'm going to click on here, and there will be a lot of um, options in here. So I'm going to choose this as now it is now the released version so i'm going to click on here uh, or to or to download i can use download and i can download uh, there is a lot of installers here i want to download the Luby with dev kit i'm going to choose 3.0.4.1 uh, i'm going to choose this with dev kit or the developer kit so i'm going to wait for a bit and this is now the install i'm going to click on start download and wait for the download to be done and we continue with further processes all right so once the download is complete go ahead and click on open and uh, uh, wait for the setup to start and i'm going to accept the license agreement click on next and this is now the path where it will be uh, installed that will add also the ruby executable to the path I'm going to install and just click next and wait for this installer wizard to finish installing all these uh, files. Alright, and now once the setup is complete, I'm going to leave this checked so as we, we will be able to install this thing. I'm going to click on finish and to restart self like this. So we have to install this component that it is telling us. I'm going to install the base installation and I'm going to press enter and to do all kind of stuff so that we will wait them to end. All right, and once this uh, is complete, I'm going to leave this uh, because they are optional. So I'm going to close this window and I'm going to check if now the Ruby is installed by using the CMD. I'm going to type Ruby hyphen hyphen version. And you can see that I have this current of version that will be pre-installed. And when I try to do, for example, like gem version and the this is now the package manager that we will be using through all these processes and you can see that we successfully installed this uh, gem and the Ruby itself and I'm going to go ahead to use this gem package manager and have to put install and I'm going to put rails like this one and press enter and wait for all the processes that I'm going to occur here so we have to give it a go and wait all right and now we can see that we are able to install the rails itself so i'm going to go ahead and check for the installed versions by by the, by typing rails hyphen hyphen version like this and you can see that i'm having this uh, version of rails and it means that we are successfully installed rails and once the rails is installed we are not done yet we can use also the gem to install the sql uh, and SQ SQLite or the SQLite, they depend on how you pronounce it. And I'm going to install the SQLite 3. And this will help us to install this gem. So I'm going to click uh, to press on enter and wait for these processes. All right, cool. And once this is complete, you can go ahead and try to make one simple app to test if the environment is working so i'm going to type rails uh, like this one rails and i'm going to call i'm going to type new and i'm going to call this as a test app like this one and try to press enter and to retry to to breed a ruby um on rails application and they will be sure that our environment is working or if there will be some of the other benefits that we we missed we can install them right away all right and wonderful this is good that you can see that we are able now to 
create these errors up and the environment is working as expected uh, let me know if you met with any error but one thing that I want to install is what we call the yarn and to install the yarn I will use npm and I will have to type install um, uh, uh, yarn or I put global yarn and here I will put like this one okay and press enter yeah i messed up so let me let me remove this hyphen and we have to wait until the yarn is successfully installed because it is super important when you are uh, using these ruby uh, apps right cool you can see that it was able to earn this when you try to check for the yarn and you check the version you can see that it was able to uh, install this version that's all on how to uh, install and configure the Ruby on Rails environment on Windows 11. I hope you guys found this very interesting and you enjoyed the video. Let me know in the comments if you met with any errors or problems during the installation. That will help you right away. And if you're coming on this channel for the first time, make sure you subscribe and press the like button. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.